Who's vegan, guys? I oh, thank you. Hi there. This is possibly going to be quite a chaotic recipe video, but I said to Jason, I says, here's what I says. I said, the amount of times that I've cooked something ready for a mukbang, and then afterwards thought, why didn't I record at least some of that? Because it turned out really well. So tonight, I'm making enchiladas for the first time. Never made them before. Always fancied them. Um, so I'm starting off with a hot pan with some extra virgin olive oil and I'm gonna cook these ingredients first. So I've basically got most of an orange pepper, most of a yellow pepper, two thirds really of each. One full white onion from the allotment, some chopped up courgette from the allotment. Um, that's what's gonna go in the pan first. And I've also started here, uh, Mexican salad. Um, so I've got in there uh, the, the rest of the yellow and the orange pepper. Um, I've got uh, about a third of a courgette cut up into little pieces. I've got a red onion, some sweet corn, uh, and I'm going to be adding some chopped romaine lettuce to this. And then making a dressing with lime juice and agave nectar um, and stuff. So I'm going to start softening off all my hard stuff, pepper and onions. I don't want to do the courgette straight away because it's quite soft uh, and it'll go soft. Um, so this is going to be the filling for the enchiladas. Now, I'm not assuming that you know what enchiladas are. Uh, so I'm going to tell you, basically it's tortillas. Uh, filled rolled tortillas in a tray. I'm going to be using this one. Covered in enchilada sauce, which we'll go through. Topped with cheese, baked in the oven. Um, where's my wood thing? Where is my wood thing? Clap along if you feel like... I was singing that, have you a lot of them today? Said wood things. So I'm going to soften these peppers and onions. I'm going to add the courgette. I'm going to add black beans, sweet corn, and this here smoked tofu. Tofu one. Uh, cut up into little pieces. And that shall be my enchilada filling, as it were. The good these toffee ones because basically you don't have to um, you don't really have to drain it. Just get rid of the little bits of excess water out of there and uh, job the good and smoked toffee. One block of smoked to tofu cut up into tiny little uh, pieces. All of that was in there. And we'll try and let that uh, brown a little bit too. While that's quite heated, I'm going to put the frozen sweet corn in. maybe a cup Turn that down a little smidge smelling lovely already getting those lovely smoky smells and now we'll add our courgette
because obviously I want that courgette to soften down. And we shall leave that for a little while. Okay, we've let that wilt down for a little bit. Now we're going to add the final ingredient here, which is these black beans that I prepared earlier in the uh, instant pot, and I've put some aside um, so I can make something else later in the week. Yeah, I've got plenty of fill in there for the uh, for the tortillas. And it actually looks really nice as well. Just cook them a bit longer. a nice close up. And I'm going to chop some tomato to throw in there as well. Uh, one of the same tomatoes I'm using for the salad. Chop tomato. Himalayan salt. And a little bit of brown black pepper. virgin olive oil in there because I want some moisture right now I'm going to turn the heat off that I'm going to leave that to cool only for a very short while because I need to start stuffing the, tor stuffing the uh, tortillas soon and getting them done and uh, we'll move on to the um, uh, enchilada sauce now that's the recipe from that I'm going to be using for the enchilada sauce um, as best I can. It's from All She Glows and I'll link it down there in the description. So butter and flour is where we need to start. Uh, but I'm just going to be guessworking on uh, amounts or should I? Should I measure everything? No, I'm just going to... I'm just going to do what I would normally do. So I'm going to heat the pan up and I'm using the um, vegan spreadable naturally butter. So let's just get a good bit of that into the pan. So I guess what we're doing here first is we're making a roux because we're using uh, butter and flour. for the uh, butter and the flour but for the rest I think I'm going to uh, 
we're going to go for exact measurements. Right, one and a half tablespoons of chilli powder. Uh, one. Uh. Again, guess what? One teaspoon of garlic powder. I've started, by the way, to buy these things big in, in bulk, so they last me a long, long time. And I just kind of refill smaller pots <clears throat> with them. Okay, one teaspoon of cumin. One teaspoon of cumin. Quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. So, oh dear, that was too much, don't care. Eight ounces of tomato paste. That's, that's right random, is that? We don't normally do things in uh, ounces in this country. Let me just check how many grams uh, eight ounces is. Right, Jason, what did you say that was? <laughs> 226.7 grams to be precise. That's like a huge amount. These um, these uh, tubes are only 135. So I'm going to use most of the one with garlic. I know, it, I know it's already got garlic in it. And then I'll, I'll use just a new, a new one and just use loads of it. That's what it says. So get that cooking in. We're about to add some broth, vegetable broth. Uh, one and a half cups of vegetable broth, in fact. So I'll get that sorted. Right, just so you know, I'm going to use one of these um, stock cubes. Well, I'm going to use half of one of these stock cubes in one and a half cups of boiling water. Okay, one and a half cups of stock. Okay, that's a nice, robust, thick sauce that, isn't it? In fact, I'm just gonna add just a tiny bit more water, just cause that feels a bit thick and I would like it just a smidge looser for pouring over the, um, Pouring over the enchiladas before they go in the oven. But that does seem like a nice thick sauce. Let's turn the heat off. Because I really don't want that to get any thicker now. I just want to be able to spoon that over my uh, enchiladas before the cheese goes on. Oh guys, guys it's gorgeous, I'm not even joking. All right, let's get on with the uh, the building before they go in the oven, shall we? Okay, got myself into a bit of an awkward position here, but I think I'll manage. So there's a the tortilla. Here's the filling for the tortilla. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to, so you can see this, I'm going to fold up both ends, then flip, tuck and roll. 
and I'm going to place that in there. Right up here, we'll be able to get four in here. Maybe this becomes a fast forward montage you now. Finish off all of this um, filling and I'll do two thinner ones lengthways across the top. All the filling used up, fantastic. Enchiladas ready for the oven. Uh, so, of course, what we do now, which seems a little weird and sacrilegious, but you know, that's the way it goes, Barbara, is we pour this incredible enchilada sauce. all over the tops. And now I'm just gonna grate some cheese. Um, the one that I've got specifically with this in mind is uh, Morrison's own brand, smoked cheddar. So I'm gonna grate some of that, get it on the top, before we get it in the oven and then I'll just very quickly show you the salad. <laughs> okay, I've got the oven uh, preheating. Uh, I've grated about half the block of the Morrison's cheese and got quite a large amount um, off it. I know that some people use like a cheese sauce uh, on top of the enchilada sauce, but I just thought I would much rather a kind, you know, especially if this melts and browns a bit. I haven't tried it before, so I have no idea. Uh, but if it does, awesome. Uh, if it doesn't, we'll still get a nice cheesy taste. There we go. Right, I'll get her in the oven. I'll tell you how long she's been in when I take her out, um, but I'll show you the salad next. Right, here's the salad so far. So there is chopped courgette, uh, orange pepper, yellow pepper, red onion, and frozen sweet corn. All I'm gonna do now is chop this romaine lettuce into small pieces, wash it, get it in there, and then we'll do the salad dressing. But I'm not gonna pour the salad dressing on until we're at the table, because it'd be silly. Mexican salad. Right, my romaine lettuce is washed and drained, cut up into small pieces. So we're gonna get that in the bowl. Just gonna give this a good hand mix. Tomato, orange pepper, yellow pepper, red onion, courgette and romaine. So, the dressing, we're going to use one clove of garlic, crushed, Just never feel like that's quite enough with just one. We're uh, we're big garlic lovers in this family. Right. There we go. That's not a lot. Of it. I'm gonna put garlic in a dressing. I want to be able to see it. You know what I mean? Right, 
two cloves of garlic, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, the juice of a lime. For those of you that think, by the way, with these that it should go in that way, you're wrong. That's why the holes are underneath. You're wrong! You're all wrong! Sorry. It's just the amount of times I've been told by people you're using that wrong and I'm like, oh, seriously, like seriously though, see it squeezes it dry basically. Squeezes it dry it does, so that's lime juice, extra virgin olive oil, garlic, And where is it? Uh, the hands on it just before. Um, ah, right there. Coriander leaf. Just a smidge. Test. Beautiful, beautiful and fresh tasting. Uh, and from there you can either add salt and pepper if you want, add more oil, add more lime juice, add more garlic, but I'm not gonna put that on the salad uh, until we're ready to serve. But there's the lovely salad. Mmm, delicious. Just because I want you to know everything, I put the other half of that lime in and it's got a really milky, beautiful colour now inside to thicken up. So that's going to be gorgeous, gorgeous I tell you. Just for those of you that that is really bugging, because I know some of you will be like, move them things, I do it when I'm watching YouTube. There we go. Better now. Now this is us all ready for our mukbang with the beautiful Mexican salad there. I'll say it again, yellow and orange peppers, red onion, romaine lettuce, courgette, sweet corn, uh, I think that's it. And the dressing is um, not going on just yet, and the finished enchiladas. Mm. Show you on the plate. I forgot to mention my addendum. Um, most of you know I keep my finger chillies in the freezer, so I just got a long green finger chilli out. Cut it very finely with scissors all over the top of the enchiladas. Mmm, delicious. Right, my loves, we're live on face on uh, YouTube, so I'm not staying on long for the end of this video. I just wanted to show you that is the plated up enchilada taken out of there. We'll be having some lovely salad too. Um, so yeah, I've just dressed that by the way with the um, the extra virgin olive oil, lime juice, coriander and garlic that you saw before. Um, so there you go, recipe, enchiladas. Hope you try it. Oh, in fact, let me say bye properly. Oh. oh, I'll see you again very soon and until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bye, love.